9 Foods to Avoid with IBS Irritable Bowel Syndrome is a frequent digestive disorder that is characterized by discomfort and abdominal pain often related to the food the sufferer has just eaten. Thus, depending on those, these symptoms can be accompanied by diarrhea, constipation or bloating. If you are affected by this syndrome, here are the foods to avoid. Number 1. All fries and other fatty preparations. The fats contained in fried foods and other fatty preparations can trigger strong contractions in the colon, causing diarrhea and stomach ache. Be careful not to consume too many fried foods, such as steak, fries or any kind of fried potatoes. You should avoid fast food, fatty sauces, animal oils, margarine and butter. Reducing your intake of fat can help limit intestinal pain. Number 2. Spicy food. Capsaicin, contained in chili, causes spasms of the large intestine, resulting in abdominal pain and diarrhea. It is the same for all spicy dishes containing peppers. So eliminate these dishes and spicy foods from your diet as much as possible, and, if you really want to eat spicy, consume a small amount from time to time only. Number 3. Caffeine and alcohol. The daily consumption of caffeine can cause these digestive disorders of the irritable bowel. So avoid coffee. And, when you want to drink a cup from time to time, put a lot of water in it. Wait for a certain intestinal comfort to settle in before drinking more regularly and re-enter this drink into your diet gently while avoiding to make it too strong. Same for alcohol, avoid it incontestably. Number 4. Artificial sweeteners. Most artificial sweeteners contain sorbitol and mannitol, two substances that have a mild laxative effect. Eating such substances on a daily basis can cause intestinal gas and diarrhea. Limit these artificial sweeteners as much as possible and watch out for chewing gum, which, for the most part, contains a lot of them. Read the ingredients list every time. Number 5. Foods that ferment. All foods that ferment tend to cause flatulence, which is very uncomfortable. This is the case for legumes such as lentils, beans, peas or chickpeas, and the cabbage family, such as cabbage, broccoli, turnips, cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. Same for garlic and onion, which are to be avoided as much as possible in your diet. Number 6. Cereals rich in insoluble fiber. Foods high in insoluble fiber are also to be avoided, as they are irritating to the intestines and tend to aggravate the digestive symptoms. Thus, cereals rich in insoluble fiber accentuate bloating, intestinal pain, diarrhea and loose stools. They are found in whole wheat, wheat bran, whole wheat bread, multi-seed bread, flax seed bread, whole wheat pasta, bulgur, whole corn, cereals with multi-seeds, etc. Number 7. Red meat. Red meats digest too slowly and stay longer in the body, which often causes intestinal pain. Thus, it is better to avoid red meats as often as possible, but also sausages, ham, minced meat and chops. If you love these dishes, simply reduce the portions by eating them only three times a week, for example. Number 8. Dairy Products. Not only are dairy products not providing fiber, which would facilitate their digestion, but they also contain fat and lactose. In addition, seroproteins and casein intensify digestive problems, resulting in diarrhea and constipation. So avoid too many dairy products and cheeses. Instead, cow, almond, soy or untreated goat milk are preferable. Number 9. Fructose. About one-third of people with irritable bowel syndrome are actually fructose intolerant. In this case, here are some foods to remove from your daily diet. Apples, coconuts, pears, guavas, melons, mangoes, papayas, grapes, cherries, lychees, as well as all dried fruit. Similarly, avoid all fruit juices containing the above-mentioned fruits. Do not eat barbecue sauce that also contains fructose. It may seem difficult at first sight to completely change your diet to preserve your intestines. But, in fact, all it takes is some good habits and time for adaptation, and you will see that everything will be better for you, and everything will also be easier. Try to keep up this diet for one or two weeks, and, if you experience a sharp change in your digestive tract, stop consuming those foods that hurt you. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.